Good morning, this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire, and we're pleased to be with you for another video. Over the past week, we've been staying out in our hammocks. Uh, we're celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles, and Tam and I have been set up here. This is our camp out in our survival camp. And I wanted to show you today the hammock that I'm staying in, which is the DD hammock. People ask, is it really worth the money for a DD hammock? It's a great little hammock made out of, uh, out of Europe, I believe Great Britain. And uh, I want to show you some things about this because I'm very pleased. I have had some of the best hammock nights I've had in this hammock. So what I've done is I've got this set up with a, uh, with a tarp over top. I want to pull this tarp and then I'll come right back with you so that I can show you a little bit about this hammock, some of the benefits of the one that I have, and how it's used and set up. So I'll be right back with you in just a moment. All right, the first thing I want to show you about this DD hammock, I've got this tarp down. I still left my ridge line here, and the reason for that is because this has a mosquito netting built into it. What I've done, I've just taken a stick and thrown through this mosquito netting. There's some uh, heavy-duty loops up here. I can throw that right through there. Most people use shock cord. I, you know what? You can get shock cord. You can get a bungee cord. This is fine for me. It just pulls a wee little bit when I when I stretch out the hammock on my ridge line, so it's not a big deal. Uh, just 550 cordage and I've done that both at the head and at the foot end so that that mosquito net sits up off my body and I'll show you how that looks in just a few minutes this is a really good thing because it holds that mosquito net so you don't feel so claustrophobic and gives you a little bit more room inside the hammock now on the back side let me jump through here this hammock has a pouch this is underneath the hammock and you can see I've just got a closed foam cell pad in here. And this sits in here. And I, I found uh, through experience that you have to kind of make sure that this pad is centered or you're going to have a wee little bit of problem. Because the hammock is a pretty wide hammock. I don't know, I'm going to say about four foot wide if I stretch this out. Which I can't get it all the way stretched out, but we're going to say about four foot wide. It gives you plenty of room to get down in the hammock. And what happens with this pad, which is really neat, I'm going to open up this fly so that you guys can see this. What happens with that pad is that the pad actually makes a base inside. You can see the base. These walls come up around you when you're laying in it. And I'll show you that again in just a minute. And that will, uh, it'll, it'll hold you in. It's almost like a little cocoon. And uh, it's very stable, very sturdy. Like I said, this is one of the best hammocks I've ever laid in, and I really like it. Now the DD hammock is a little heavy. It weighs out at about three pounds because this one not only is a hammock, but the base of this is made out of a heavier material. And you can see inside, it's, it's got a rubberized kind of material. We've been sleeping out. The temperature has been about, uh, oh, I don't know, 40, 42 degrees at night. And I've got a little bit, not very much, but a little bit of condensation inside because of that rubberized material. I'm willing to deal with that. Again, it's very minimal because I do have the netting on top and it's breathable. But with this heavier bottom, and one of the reasons I got this, is I don't have to set this up like a hammock. I can set this up on the ground and just use it like a one-man bivy. Makes it really good. So if I'm out doing something, I don't want to set a hammock up, then I can use it as a bivy closer to the ground as well. Nice little benefit the DD hammock has put into this. So let me show you this rain fly or this, uh, this mosquito netting, I should say. Can unzip her on one side and on the other. Now you can't take it totally off, but you can, uh, you can open it up. So if you want to lay without the netting on for whatever reason, you can do that. Makes it a little easier to get in. The zippers are double-sided, so I can very easily close it from inside. Again, it's, it's a really great setup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and show you how I fit into this. And then once that I'm in here and show you, I want to show you another little slick thing that DD Hammock has done with their hammocks. Again, I think this is a really quality product, and I'm glad I got it, and I'm going to be using it a lot. Three pounds, it's a little bit heavier, but I think it's well worth the wait. 
All right, the other thing about a DD hammock, which I should say, is there's a learning curve getting into this thing. So I'm going to try and do this without, uh, without having any big problems to show you guys. First is that you open up the fly side that you want to be on, and then you sit in your hammock and pull, and then it's up over top of you. Then you can just lay back, and you're in your little cocoon. It's very easy, as I said before, just to reach up here, zip your netting down. I don't know if you guys can still see me, but you can see that I've got a lot of headspace in here now. Not claustrophobic in any way, rocking a little bit, so if I make you seasick, I'm sorry about that. But I want to show you here, if Tam can get inside, I'm going to open this rainfly back, or this uh, mosquito netting back up, keep calling it rainfly and let Tam get in here, you can see I'm laying on this pad and both sides come up like a well around me. It makes it very stable. It makes it very comfortable and it doesn't pull in tight on my shoulders because of the, uh, because of the uh, pad I have underneath. And another thing, most people that do sleep in hammocks that hang know that you're going to get cold air penetration. Well, this rubberized material stops at the start with but with this foam pad underneath me, I'm actually warm. And so, uh, of course, it's 75 degrees outside today, but I'm very warm right now. Uh, again, if I wanted to pull this netting off, I could take and undo the netting on both sides. I could tie it up to my ridge line, be out of the way, give me a little bit of extra room. All right, what I'm doing is uh, I'm taking off this mosquito net line because I want to show you something that Dee Dee Hammock has done on this, and I think it's really nice. Roll these cords up, put in my pocket for safekeeping. These sticks, I don't have to carry these. These are disposable. Any kind of a small uh, branch that you can get will work just fine. Just pull it out of there. And again, you can use a bungee cord on that. There's, there's all sorts of different things. I, I started the first night, I just tied this up. Didn't spread it out, so I put those spreader bars in and it really gave me a lot of extra room. But I'm ready to go ahead and pack this hammock out, let's say. Giddy hammock. Oh, got my strap on here for my bedroll. I'm going to take that off. DD hammock has put a sleeve that comes with this. Well, I'm going to hang that strap in a safe place, and I'm going to show you. I just take this sleeve, and you can see for right now, I've just put it up here on this to keep it out of the way. Put this, whoa! The other thing you gotta do before you take your hammock and put it away is to take your foam pad out. So I'll take that out and just lay it down out of the way for a minute. And then I'm going to close that back up. The reason you close it back up, you don't want anything to get out of sorts. This will show you this closure system. It's just a little Velcro pad. But it sure holds it on there nicely. So go ahead and slide those Velcros back on in the right place. Make sure that everything is good. That way I don't get a lot of debris from the floor or anything. Now I just take this snake sleeve, slide this right over top of this hammock. And that's about how long it takes to pack out a DD hammock, guys. I roll this up, put it back in its carry case, got a little cinch on both ends, and we're all finished with it. Now I know I'm shooting this video backwards because I already had the hammock up, but I want to show you one more minute here how to tie this hammock because DD Hammock has made that easy for you too. As you can see, if I pull this snake skin off of here, that there's a heavy duty end loop sewn on the hammock. Okay, and that's stitched three or four times. You can see the stitching in there. Very, very good job. And when I put that, the cordage comes through. Now this isn't just cordage. This is actually a ribbon. And uh, it's a very, very good ribbon. I've bought these for my other hammock as well. But let me climb underneath it here, come out and show you what I'm doing. Get Tan to back up a little bit there for me. This has got to be the easiest tie-off system there is. With this rope attached, all that I have to do when I go to hang my hammock, it's in the protective cover, so I don't have any problem if it lays on the ground right now. 
I tie one end to the tree. Pull the other end to the tree. Now let me show you how I tie this. Let me get this little piece of cord out of the way. I just come around the tree. Remember when you're tying off a hammock, you want to make sure that your cords are about the same height and that your hammock is centered between the trees. So I've pulled them once around the tree. Now I come underneath of these two cords that run back to the hammock, cross them over, and I actually learned this from one of my British friends, wall to rock climber, Mike Dixon. Roll that back over, come back here, and just tie off a loop. What happens with this, I'm, I'm kind of paranoid about falling out of a hammock, so I tie a real loose second loop just to make sure it doesn't. But as this pulls now, it's going to tighten up on this cord. So if it pulls, it literally tightens the loop around that tree, and there's no way that's going to fall off. Again, I think DD Hammock has done a great job with this. I'm very pleased with it, and you'll see me when I'm out of many of my camps carrying this with me. So uh, until we see you again on another video, this is Dave Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for all of your support, and we'll talk to you soon.